So remember, all things work together for good to them that love God. Now, in our text, if you read from the easy to read version, which I like to do, see, my brothers and sisters, you will have many kind of trouble, and that's the thing about life. What, but your your perception, your approach, and the way you handle the trouble determine a lot of things. Like I always say, maybe Job will have ended in chapter two or three, but because of his approach afterwards, change everything. Oh, of course, perhaps the children of Israel, God told them, you are supposed to get to this, but the way you have done, I'm going to allow you to roam for 40 years so that you can waste all of you that have disobeyed me. So that means the journey of the children to the promised land was not supposed to be for 40 years, but because of circumstances. So you will have many trouble, but how you handle this is important. See, but this gives you a reason to be very happy. You know, when your faith is tested, you learn to be patient in suffering, which is true. And you know one thing about faith and suffering, I mean, so, uh, I mean, faith and patience, according to the Hebrew 10, 36, 35, 36, say that don't waste your confidence. It has great reward. And say, after you have done whatever you need to do, you need patience to receive the promise. So you need patience. If you let the patience work in you, the end result will be good. Don't forget that. Say, for you will be mature and complete, you will be all that God wants you to be. By the time Joseph was sitting on the throne, he was set, he was ready, he was mature. By the time David had gone through all the stress with Saul, by the time he was sitting on the throne, he understand feeling of people. He understand how to relate with people. He understand what it means to be a leader. He understood what it means to, you know, all the time they abandoned him in the, with the sheep. He was learning how to be a leader. So, that is the thing. Now, the scripture says concerning Jesus in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2 and 3. He said that Jesus, we need to keep looking at him because he's our example. And he endured the cross because he knows that the pain of the cross is going to be the gateway for salvation for the world. So he endured the cross. Look at what the Bible says. As I read the conclusion, he say, not he say, but he accepted the shame of the cross as if it were nothing because of the joy he was seeing waiting for him and now he's sitting at the right hand of the father in place of glory hebrews 12 2 and 3 you know and you know the bible says something in psalm 126 if you read 5 and 6 it said those that sow in tears they come reaping with joy it's painful when you are giving when you are sowing when you are loving when you are kind but it's going to end in good news that is it remember your pain your gateway but it depends on how you manage it see you soon